right now in my Ram 3500 6.7 liter diesel Cummins uh, Longhorn Edition 6.4 bed AEV Prospector XL pickup truck. Now, that is a mouthful, but that is what this truck is. And I've owned it for just a little bit here, so this is my initial driving impressions, right? Uh, picked it up maybe a day or so ago, and I've done a couple of trips on the highway, some trips inside the city, that kind of thing. And I always do these initial videos just to kind of get you that capture with the buyer's remorse and everything else setting in after the deal is all done to kind of just talk about it and say, hey, what was my impression when I got in and I drove it for the first time? And that's what this is. So, so far my impressions are, it's a massive, it's a massive truck, right? But just standing outside the sheer size of the truck is insane. I mean, it sits on 40 inch tires, right? A three inch lift. And just to stand beside it is absolutely one of these, it's a thing, it's a thing of beauty for anybody who's in the cars, right? Driving it, my first impressions are loud. It is really, really loud. It's running on Cooper, I think STT, 40 inch tires, 13.50. And I, it's just the loudest truck I've ever driven or the loudest road noise tire I've ever driven. Granted, they're mud terrain tires, so anybody who's driven on mud terrains is like, yeah, shut up, that's normal. I usually have like your all-terrain tires and they're a little quieter than what we have here. So that's the first thing that jumped at me and said, wow, this is really loud. Just getting onto the interstate, that constant drone of those tires, I feel like if you were going long distance, that would drive you crazy. So I've heard people say they're moving to Toyos and those are a little bit more silent or quieter, but uh, I don't know about that. But for right now, um, excellent command of the road. Just like when you're driving, you see the whole road, you feel like you're in a tank. But at the same time, it drives really, really well. I like to say better than factory. Now, I had a 2500 that I actually uh, got rid of. That 2500 had springs in the back and that drove really, really well. Better actually than my G63 AMG, which is insane to think about it, but a real true story. So that actually drove pretty good. And this here, with the lift and the big tires, it still rolls down the, the road pretty good. I'm gonna do a noise test. I always do that with all my truck. I got a little DBA meter that I can use to measure the sound. I'm gonna do that to kind of give you guys an idea of exactly how loud it is compared to a regular 2500, compared to any of the other vehicles. If you're looking at my channel, I've done these on every single vehicle that I've owned in recent memory. And driving around town or in the city, it doesn't feel like I've heard some people say, hey, this feels so huge driving in the city. But when you're used to driving trucks, honestly, it's not that big a departure, even with these 40s. I think it still drives pretty good, even in the city at slow speeds. The only thing I'd say is a problem is U-turns. Like I cannot, I haven't been able to do a U-turn um, without having to back up. So it does, the turning radius is definitely not that great um, on first impression, right? Maybe I'll change my mind as time goes on, but just driving around so far. It just seems like if you want to do a U-turn, don't. And then gas mileage wise, uh, it's about what? If I go on side roads, right, and I'm rolling on a flat road, I'm thinking I was getting something like uh, 15, maybe. If I'm on the interstate, I'm going 75, 80 miles per hour, I'm right in that 12 range. So about 12, going 65 or going 75, and 35 on flat roads, I can touch like 15 point something, 16. But again, all preliminary numbers. Right now, super excited about the truck. I love it, I love the way it handles, I love the way it drives, and uh, hopefully I can hang on to it for a while. Uh, winter's coming also gonna try to do some videos in the snow try to try to do a bunch of different things with it just to kind of see exactly what this is all about it's supposed to be the most capable um, overlanding vehicle you know questionably but uh, we'll see I think it's gonna be exciting so the TFL guys they're just out here in Colorado and they've got a new uh, 
farm off-road testing area, proving grounds that they've built out there. And I took my military truck out there once, uh, the LMTV, to kind of run it out there. And Maybe I'll reach out to them, see if we can take this Prospector XL out there and see how it performs. I'd be very curious to see how that works out. But um, that's about it for right now, guys. More videos to come, um, but super excited right now. And uh, peace.